In this lecture, we're going to look at the properties of an indifference curve. It's the last section of the understanding for the understanding of indifference curves. So, so far to summarize, we know that an indifference curve is a mapping of trade-offs between one good and another good by an individual at a specific point in time. Because over time, of course, your choices could change. So at a specific moment, if we're mapping an indifference curve for Mr. X, choosing between vegetables and meat, we may end up with a curve that looks something like this. And it tells us how Mr. X is prepared at any point to trade vegetables off against meat. When you have fewer of any item, your trade-off becomes different. All the way along the indifference curve, we learned that there is some rate at which you will substitute one good for another, and we call that the marginal rate of substitution. Now, what have you noticed about the indifference curve and what um, the characteristics of and indifference curve are. First of all, an indifference curve is always convex. Now, concave to the origin or convex, showing that there is a trade-off between meat and vegetables in this example. The more vegetables you have, the more you prepare to trade off for meat. In other words, the uh, convexity of an indifference curve. As I mentioned in passing before, we can also have a mapping of indifference curves. And following from the assumptions that we went through that people always prefer more to less. Any mapping of indifference curves, you would prefer to be on the indifference curve highest away from the origin. So indifference curves are convex. There can be a mapping of indifference curves and one would choose to be, if given a choice, you would prefer to be on an indifference curve furthest away from the origin. Because at that point, you will be having more vegetables and meat compared to, say, let's compare point A with point B here. At point A, you have so much meat and vegetables. At point B, you have almost the same amount of vegetables, but much less meat. And so with that idea in mind and non-satiation and preferring more to less, you would always want to be on a difference curve furthest away from the origin.